All right, Gary, just for you, your newly purchased 1998 Hitachi Seiki HT23J. I've got this cover off right now, as I explained on the phone not too long ago. Um, I had the boys replace the solenoid that was controlling the parts catcher. And I said, hey, while well, this is off, might as well leave it off so I can show you the condition back here. So you got your way lube system and then your solenoids and valves for your air. Go ahead and open the door here. As you know, ATS S26 Kalachuk. I did measure. This is an inch and a half collet in there right now. Tool presetter. Parts catcher. Notice uh, this parts, ca parts catcher is fresh paint. The turret is fresh paint. This wall on the machining area is fresh paint here. The door is fresh paint. And I believe I believe this is also fresh paint. And that's about where it stops. Everything else is, is original. This is original paint here. Um, you can see the door is original. That's where it's getting, getting bumped. Uh, you got some old notes here. While we're over here, here's control, Seiko's LY control. In nice shape. The main operator panel here and the alphanumeric panel here are both fresh membranes. <clears throat> That's a brand new Hitachi Seiki decal on there. The whole uh, Mayfran chip conveyor and coolant tank system here was all painted. And that's where the fresh paint stops. Walk around to the side here. This panel, you remove that panel, right below it is the coolant pump. And then this whole unit will slide out from the front. You were asking about that. This is how much room is needed in between. So if you're putting this in your garage and you, you got, uh, well, about five feet. That should be enough. Cabinet. Everything nice and neat in its place and a place for everything. As always, we will have this backed up before we ship it out the door. We've got a full set of manuals. Keys, leveling pads, all that good stuff. Serial number of the machine. <clears throat> Parker hydraulic unit. This is a Huntsville built machine, so it's Parker which is nice in terms of having to get any parts here. Poke over the top. There's that spindle area again. Can't really see because the axis is brought forward, but there would be your Z. And that's the machine. We'll go ahead and Zero return. And then I'll go ahead and start up our program that we got in here. Put you on a tripod. Bring in. Actually, real quick, why don't we run the spindle up to full speed and actuate the parts catcher? So that is 4,000 RPMs. Sounds real nice. Well, 
go ahead and stop that. And we'll do a parts catcher actuation. As you'd expect, I guess. Go ahead and pull back a little bit. Quick tool change. Turret index is 0.1 second. Although it doesn't sound it, we're actually hitting up to 3200 RPMs just north of there in this program went right there when it's doing that cutoff Got a G96 in there uh, Worth mentioning the solenoid here that we're looking at right now that uh, Actuates the clamp on clamp for the KV pockets uh, that was replaced um, We felt it was acting a little slow, so I went ahead and had that replaced one more of the little things that we've done. Zoom in here, I'll show you that tail shock body here is in good shape. No more once you put a real load on it, but it seems to be fine. If you need another one, of course, you know you can get them from anywhere. Otherwise, we do have an OEM brand new Hitachi unit in stock if you so require. But um, you know that's the machine in a nutshell. Since you said you never had a KV machine, I thought I'd show you quick how the KV clamper works and how easy it is to use. So on the control here, I'm just going to hit jog. Rocks are activated that way. Go on clamp. Clamp. That's it. You're done. Touch off your tool on the tool presetter, and away you go. One more thing for you, Gary. You asked me to define the tooling that we can include. And uh, I think this is probably a, a nice package for you based on our little conversation. What I got here going from top left to right. Um, so we've got a standard inch and a quarter ID boring tool. Next to it you got an inch and a half. I did have one piece inch and a half boring tool. Um, next to that I've got two TG100 style collets. Um, and below that I have three one inch OD turning tools and next to that is a um, face grooving tool. Face turning, face grooving. Um, I had one of those in stock as well. Um, I think that should probably be a, a good package for you. And if you want more ID holders I certainly have them. And um, if you need more OD turning tools uh, I We'll have to check my stock, otherwise I certainly can order them new if we need to. So that's it.